Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson, and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about cyclosporin for the treatment of vasculitis and lupus. You can visit our website, www.rheuminfo.com, and print off one of our cyclosporin picto pamphlets to follow along with this video. Cyclosporin is also known as neural. Cyclosporin is given by a tablet taken twice a day. You'll need to discuss the dose with your doctor. It can take a few months for cyclosporin to work, so you'll need to be patient. Now, there are four things you need to do when taking cyclosporin. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, it's important to get regular blood tests every two to four weeks while taking cyclosporin. This is to make sure the medication isn't affecting your blood counts or kidneys. Second, cyclosporin can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. It's best to stop taking cyclosporin and call your doctor if you have a fever or think you have an infection. Third, cyclosporin can cause your blood pressure to rise. It's important to have your blood pressure checked on a regular basis. And finally, there are several prescription medications that are not safe to take with cyclosporin. Discuss any new medication with your doctor or pharmacist. Some people can feel sick to their stomach, bloated, have stomach pain, or develop diarrhea when they take cyclosporin. Let your doctor know if this becomes a problem. Cyclosporin can affect your kidneys. Your kidneys are watched through regular blood and urine testing. It's good to drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day to flush your kidneys. Cyclosporin can also rarely irritate the liver. Now this is monitored through regular blood testing. Cyclosporin can cause a number of other side effects, including fatigue, headache, increased hair growth on the face or arms, swelling of the gums, flushing, tingling in the fingers, toes, tip of the nose, tongue, or lips, weakness, and muscle cramps and tremors. Cyclosporin is not normally taken during pregnancy. If you become pregnant or are planning to become pregnant, let your doctor know. Finally, when used for long periods of time, cyclosporin may be associated with a small increased risk of lymphoma and skin cancer. You can discuss this with your doctor. If you're taking cyclosporin, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and you want to stop, if you're concerned about any side effects, or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason. Now for cyclosporin, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If your blood pressure becomes elevated, if you think you have a fever or you think you have an infection, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, if you develop a new severe headache or if you're planning any surgery. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.